This is the Polish military cemetery at Monte Cassino, located very close to the monastery, which you can see up there. Obviously, it was rebuilt. It was re-consecrated around 1964, if I remember rightly. Destroyed in the air raid, air raids, in February 1944. So that's now go into the cemetery. Here are buried 1,051 Poles who were killed in this battle from Monte Cassino stands behind me. In fact, we have from here a very good view of the abbey itself. This cemetery was laid out in the winter of 1944-45. Not long, therefore, after the battle was actually completed. Now Monte Cassino was captured by Polish troops in May 1944 at the end of the fourth battle for Monte Cassino. There we have the grave of Władysław Anders who died in London in 1970 who was the person who the army was named after when it was put together in the Soviet Union in 1941 and 1942. Allowed to leave the Soviet Union came via Palestine uh, to, and Egypt I think it was, to uh, here to Italy. So we can walk along some of the graves here. Jan Arnold, so he was 31, and where he came from, in fact, looking through all of these places, uh, Warsaw, up until all of them were in area which was actually taken by the Soviet Union. Womja, no, Gruyets, near Warsaw. Odessa, well, Wrocławek. Again, R Russia. Many, many Poles were in fact born in what was later Russia, my neighbour was born in Kaluga. Oh, she regards herself absolutely Polish. Of course she is, so they came, they came here when she was only a few months old after the Bolshevik Revolution. She was born in 1921. Filmo, Troki, Trakai, yeah. um, Janów Lubelski, Białystok, Myślenica, Szubin, it's near Bydgoszcz, Oh, I think I made a mistake there. I think it should be Jersey City, not Jerzek City <laughs> on that one. Sokow. Nothing. Nothing. Wadim which is now in the Ukraine. Kherson, which is now in Ukraine. Novogrudek, now in Belarusia. Vienna, Austria. Shadilsa. Near, uh, near, not so far from Warsaw, Krakow, Bielsko, Krakow, Zamost, Krakow, Minsk, Mazowiecki, Lwów, Biała, that's one or two places called Biała. Surgeon, Warsaw, Krosno, Yaroslav, Warsaw, Łódź. Of course, in the case of Jews, I could understand why they didn't. Uh, uh, they may have uh, didn't hang around in the Nazi occupied areas. They escaped the Soviet Union. I suspect uh, Lublin, but Warsaw. Pizza. 
Ostrów Mazowiecki, Ostrów Mazowiecki, Kuwieszu, Tarnopol. I won't go through the entire cemetery with all the names. But it does give the idea that many of these people, I, I suspected that many would be from the east, and it doesn't appear to be so. But they seem to come from all over Poland. Putosk Kempno, that's in the west. It's near the border. It was with Germany. Vilno. Russia. Buchach, which is now in the Ukraine. Bzozhov, don't know where that is. It's an exceptionally nice place for a cemetery. Military one. I think it's one of the nicest military, if not the nicest military cemetery you've ever seen. And look at the views. It also gives an idea of how tough it must have been to capture this. Przechodniu, Powiedź, Polsce, Zeszmy, Polegli, Wierni, w jej służbie. Tell Poland that we were loyal in our service. Next to General Anders, we have his wife. Elena Renata Anders, born Renata Bogdanska, who was uh, born the 12th of May 1920, and uh, she died quite recently, 29th of November 2010. She was a widow for more than 40 years, but she was 28 years younger than he.